distinctive craftsmanship, admired by those who appreciate tasteful elegance. In exquisite silver, or a fine car. A car with classic lines. With an interior that surrounds you in personalized comfort. car by the name of Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo, the kind of car people take pride in owning. And building. At the Monte Carlo assembly plants, the emphasis is on quality. preciseness of automatic welding machines keeps every Monte Carlo body within close tolerances for good panel fits throughout the body. Exterior weld joints are filled in with molten solder. Then they are ground or filed smooth by expert metal finishers who handcraft that custom built look into every Monte Carlo. An application of rust-inhibiting primer coat is one of the reasons Monte Carlo retains its good looks and high resale value. This is followed by several coats of Magic Mirror acrylic lacquer finish that maintains its brilliant luster for years. Preformed upholstery, richly pleated and durable, covers specially molded foam cushioning and S-springs carefully designed to provide excellent comfort and back support. Monte Carlo bodies are put through a high pressure rain test to detect any pot water leak. On the final inspection line, each Monte Carlo is put through a simulated road test where accurate readings of the car's performance, steering, brakes, electrical system, and other vital items are recorded. If any problems are detected, the car is pulled off, corrected, and then checked again until it passes. Before your Monte Carlo leaves the plant, it receives 72 separate inspections. The level of pride in the Monte Carlo assembly plant is among the highest in the industry. Just listen. It's really a nice car and everything. Uh, we really try to do a good job on these cars. Oh, they really like the job and they do a better job on them to get more quality. They feel proud to be able to do the work. When you got a good product, you do your best. I enjoy my work. And uh, the Monte Carlo, I think it's a very special car. I think it's good looking. And we're real proud of this car. Well, I sure like to own one myself, I'll tell you. That's how the people who build Monte Carlos feel about their work. And it's reflected in the product. Finely crafted, strong, quiet. Personal luxury with traditional Chevrolet value. Exposed on this specially built cutaway model are the solid under the skin values at an attainable price that put Monte Carlo in a class by itself. The value of standard power front disc brakes, for instance, comes alive out on the open road, where unforeseen emergencies call upon the fade resistant stopping power of disc brakes. 
A flooded street can thoroughly wet your brakes, as shown in this demonstration. Monte Carlo's standard front disc brakes are resistant to the effects of water. Variable ratio power steering is also standard equipment on Monte Carlo. In a tight parking spot, variable ratio power steering requires less turns of the wheel than single ratio steering. And it delivers the response and feel desired for highway driving. For additional protection against side impact, Monte Carlo has a side guard door beam welded into the structure of both doors. Behind the rear passenger seat is another protective barrier called a cargo guard. When heavy items are carried in the Monte Carlo trunk, this steel bulkhead helps keep them from entering the passenger compartment in case of a sudden stop. This is standard Monte Carlo protection. The real Monte Carlo story is in its remarkably smooth ride and superb handling. The credit belongs here. Monte Carlo's full perimeter frame serves as a solid foundation for the four-wheel coil spring suspension, and the advanced body mounting system with strategically placed rubber body mounts. The result is a well-built luxury car which gives you the freedom to explore rugged backcountry in comfort. Outside it's rough. Inside it's smooth, Monte Carlo smooth. The Monte Carlo reputation for fine craftsmanship and luxury has helped give it a relatively high resale value and make it one of the most desirable cars today. Take pride in owning a Monte Carlo. The people at Chevrolet want it to be the best car you've ever owned. Camaro, for those to whom driving means more than getting from one place to another. Camaro, an experience in responsiveness, in tackling a road, and taming it. Camaro. A car for the pure enjoyment of driving. Rated in the same class as the most expensive European road cars. Engineered to hug the road and split the wind. In any company, Camaro is engineered for front-running performance. Camaro, the leading domestic seller in the sporty car field. But it's more than that. Camaro is styled to complement your individuality, your lifestyle. Your versatility, to stand as a statement of the multiple characteristics that project your personality. Camaro is for the people who resist the routine, the everyday, and explore new paths, 
new methods, new thinking to make things happen. Behind the Camaro image are honors bestowed on few cars. Here's what. The authoritative road and track magazine named the Camaro 350 SS one of the 10 best cars in the world. The only American car to be so honored. Road and Track's panel of experts at Bond Publishing Company tells us why. With the styling that the Chevrolet stylists have put on this car, it's one of the finest to come out of Detroit or our industry in general in decades. This is a car that can appeal to the enthusiast. It has all the qualities that the enthusiast is looking for in a car. I think the most impressive thing about it is that you have all the capabilities the car has and you're still perfectly comfortable at it. It's a good car to just drive around in. There is no question that this car is one of the 10 best in the world. It's a combination of things that make it good. Uh, it's a combination of power, brakes, handling. It makes it a real driver's car. It's the whole combination of suspension. It's the variable ratio steering, the uh, front and rear suspension, the tires, and uh, the Chevrolet engineers have blended this very well. They've done a lot of work with steering ratios, uh, with transit things such as understeer and oversteer, and uh, they've come up with a combination of qualities that's pretty remarkable. It hinges a lot on the uh, variable ratio steering. Most cars have a constant steering ratio, which means that uh, throughout the full range of the steering wheel, you have a constant relation between what the steering wheel does and what the front wheels do. This car has variable ratio steering, which gets quicker as you go out towards the locks. And uh, wide tires are very essential to road holding, so Chevrolet has fitted a good wide tire. In fact, you can see that it almost hangs outside the body. Besides giving good road ability, this also gives the car a very aggressive, planted on the road look that we like in a car. And that implies a road hugging capability by its very appearance. Disc brakes are obviously better than drum brakes. This one has disc brakes at the front, and they do a nice job for feel and for fade resistance. The Camaro is one of those cars you can enjoy driving just for the pure aesthetic pleasure of driving. And there are a great many people that still enjoy that. I think one of the very good points about the Camaro is that it is not the first car of this type that has been built in this country, but it is probably the most refined. It is the quietest basic engineering to start with. The styling that went into it and certainly the production quality has been carefully built into it. And altogether, the whole package is what makes the car what it is. The whole package is what makes the car what it is. The judgment of professional automotive experts who rank Camaro with the most expensive European road machines some of them priced at three and four times more than Camaro. And that's one of the most appealing aspects of the Camaro. You can own one at comparatively low cost. Camaro is a sensible investment, delivering high-level comfort and the long-lasting value inherent in the Chevrolet name. Camaro, drive it for a change from the ordinary. Corvette. If you want to read all the praise accorded to the Corvette by automotive experts the world over, find yourself a spare year sometime. The Corvette Command Center. All the gauges you need, including a large, easily visible tachometer. Transverse mounted leaf springs at the rear with twin axle shafts and standard posit traction. Fully independent coil springs up front to cushion the ride and a standard stabilizer bar to control roll. Corvette's highly refined suspension system, the aerodynamic design, balanced front and rear weight distribution, and its low center of gravity make Corvette one of the best handling road machines in existence. The only production car in America with standard four-wheel disc brakes with ventilated rotors for sure modulated stops. 
one-of-a-kind Corvette puts you in exclusive company. Like most fine products, Corvette is a limited production package. Less than 22,000 were built in the 1971 model year in order to preserve the Corvette image and maintain the prestige and individuality you value. Corvette is the product of the most advanced automotive engineering design concepts. Standard Corvette features a bound to help you experience the pleasure and excitement of controlling an excellent road machine. Corvette, an outstanding way to see the USA. Chevrolet station wagon for work and for play. For taking trips and opening up the outdoors. Chevrolet wagons for fun and adventure. Going someplace? Moving away? This handsome new Kingswood Estate three-seat wagon has the biggest carrying capacity for cargo and passengers of any in its field. Room for just about everything you want to take on a trip. A hidden compartment under the floor. And even with all three seats up, there's room for luggage back to the third seat. As that glide-away tailgate comes up, the glass comes down. Greatest idea in the wagon business. The obvious problems with the tailgate on competitive wagons like this one are solved by Chevrolet's glide-away tailgate. To raise the third seat in Chevrolet's Kingswood Estate wagon, you just lift up the edge of the cushion and push it back. To fold it down again, release the catch, pull the seat forward and simply press it down. Some wagons rely entirely on the tailgate for loading rear seat passengers. In rear-loading wagons, if the tailgate is blocked, you have to climb over the seats to get into the rear passenger area. And once you're in those dual-facing rear seats, even children have to play kneesies. And there's no room for extra luggage. On Chevrolet three-seat wagons, the split second seat unlatches easily and tips forward to give access to the third seat. Everything on the Kingswood Estate is built for loads. Big L78 by 15 tires give you extra weight carrying capacity while Chevrolet's variable ratio power steering makes handling a cinch in tight places. This test shows how Chevrolet's variable ratio steering feature reduces the work in driving. The wheel is turned to this point on the Chevrolet and to the same point in the competitive wagon. Chevrolet's wheels are ready for a sharp turn while the other wagon's wheels are not with this result. Not enough turns of the steering wheel to fit in the parking space. Chevrolet makes the turn with the variable ratio feature giving you help where you need it, in tight spots. Chevrolet wagons give you the road feel you want for highway driving. Nothing like a big, comfortable Chevrolet wagon to free you up for vacation trips and make them all the more enjoyable. Now watch this Chevrolet Kingswood with its 402 V8 engine towing a 6,000 pound trailer up a steep mountain grade. The result? Chevy's V8 teamed with its standard turbo hydromatic transmission provides the pulling power to do the job.
when you stop to camp, you'll really appreciate the special features of the Kingswood Estate Wagon. There are Chevy Extras on braking, too. Chevrolet has a standard power-assisted braking system with front disc brakes. After repeated braking, the Chevrolet disc brakes are more resistant to heat fade. So if the unexpected occurs, your Chevrolet wagon can stop. As you drive your Chevrolet, its curved rear roof creates a downdraft of air, helping to keep the window clean, emanating the need for an extra-cost air deflector. As this chatter-bump test at the proving grounds shows you, Chevrolet wagons handle better, with better stability than competitive wagons like this one. Chevrolet holds course with far less of that annoying rear-end sway. Among many Chevrolet contributions to safety are the strong, steel, girder-like side guard beams that help protect passengers in side impact collisions. In this proving ground test at the Safety Research and Development Center, the impacting car, an Impala, is moving at 24 miles an hour. While the dummies are jostled, the side guard beam has prevented the impacting car from penetrating deeply into the passenger compartment of the other Impala. The guard beam, one of the many extra values you get in this Chevrolet wagon. In everything you look for and want and expect in a station wagon, you get more of it in a Chevrolet wagon than any other in its field. For work and fun and just plain living, Chevrolet wagons can't be beat. Five different kinds of wagons from Chevrolet. The Kingswood Estate, the most luxurious wagon we make, with something you don't see all the time, a vanishing tailgate. Concours, one of Chevrolet's intermediate walk-in wagons with a two-way tailgate. Vega Camback, a little wagon with the canopy rear end up and the rear seat folded down, holds up to 50 cubic feet of cargo. Chevrolet Suburban, built on a rugged truck chassis, comes with a lift gate tailgate or double doors. Chevrolet Sport Van, comes with a sliding side door with double doors in the back. Chevrolet Station Wagon. They're all top value leaders and top fun leaders in their field. They're the best way yet to see the USA, the Chevrolet Wagon Way. <laughs>